So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the visual input provided here, the graph that we have here. So I'm going to just write down graph question. Because sometimes when you have a graph, there's special things that you can do to help solve the question or find the answer uh, that you can't otherwise you can't otherwise do. So before I before I read anything, I like to take a look at well, what information is provided in this graph. So this graph is all about the total cost for a cab ride. The x axis is distance traveled in miles. The y axis is cost, and obviously this graph um, goes up from left to right, just representing that as you travel more, right? As we travel more distance, the cost increases, which is exactly what we expect. To happen. So the information here says the line graphed in the XY plane below models the total cost in dollars for a cab ride Y in a certain city during non-peak hours based on the number of miles traveled X. According to the graph, what is the cost for each additional mile traveled in dollars of a cab ride? Okay, so in essence, this is asking for the slope of this line, but even if you didn't realize that the question was asking for the slope because it asks, right, each additional mile, right? Each additional mile is like each additional X. And what is the cost is Y, right? So um, even if you didn't recognize that, we know that, hey, this is one mile, two miles, three, four. So we can kind of just figure things out, right? So at zero miles, we're at $3, right? Because this is one, two, three, four. And then we go to one mile, and we're up to $5, so that's an increase of $2. And just to make sure that we're right, from one mile to two miles, right, we go from five up to $7, that's an additional $2. So it looks like the cost, right, what is the cost for each additional mile traveled, it looks like that cost is $2 according to the graph. So answer choice A, is the correct answer.